So we are very ethical. Uh, there's, there's a posing now of partners, the board and Salga. Uh, the board of MRM and Salga, they're posing now. Pictures. The drivers of this project are... The drivers of the project... Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me take your seat. Thank you. May I request uh, the speaker age, the representative of the speaker age? And um, today, the most senior speaker here is <laughs> Omam Kivit. And uh, we are going to ask her to come forward and give us a word of thank you and what all the way she has observed we do. Order, speaker. Order. <laughs> Honorable speaker, order. <laughs> well, thank you very much, uh, program director. Uh, at least that's a, a word I seldom use where I work. Uh, Thank you very much for the opportunity. Let me greet um, the leadership of the MRM, um, uh, our guest speaker, as well as the leaders of political parties um, in our country. Ladies and gentlemen, good, good uh, I think it's good, still good morning to, to you all. I, I don't want to say sometimes um, an ambush can be treacherous and one can go to jail for an ambush. You would note that I'm not on the program, but um, I'm welcoming the opportunity uh, given to me I think Untate uh, Gadi has worked on the conscience of some uh, in the room to say there are women in the country uh, that can also lead. Um, but I'm here requested to do something very important because a word of gratitude is a very important word. I'm not taking it lightly. But as I was listening to both the keynote address, which you will agree with me, it really was spot on. It went to the points with respect to the challenges of our country and those issues that as leadership we must focus on. Uh, and therefore, in thanking the prof um, for those words of wisdom, which I hope have found that important corner in our hearts and minds to settle, so that as we go into the work that we are to go into, we do so with the understanding that true leadership comes or is displayed when there's crisis. It emerges at times of trouble. It emerges when there are difficulties. And therefore, as leaders of political parties here were listening, and I'm praying and I'm hoping that those words of wisdom, both from the Father uh, in terms of the chairperson of the MRM, as well as our guest speaker of the day, they have found resonance in our heart 
and our mind. But I felt that we needed to remind ourselves of the very basic chapter one of our own constitution. Because at times as we work, we tend to forget those principles on which our constitution has been founded and therefore our country uh, should, leadership should work to uphold all the time, which are the values which the MRM also uh, is uh, working on. What I like of that chapter is the part that reads the Republic of South Africa is one one sovereign state. It's one. It's not many. We may be many political parties with many ideas but we lead we, we are leaders of the one country and that country is a sovereign country and that sovereign country is a democratic state so elections are about democracy in action um, it's about taking a mandate from the electorate it's about reporting back to the electorate. Sometimes we forget that part that there is reporting that must take place. And true elections, that reporting must be observed. And as therefore as leaders who had contested elections before, who are to contest elections again, we must exercise uh, those democratic uh, values in the work we do. But what is of most important are the values. D, universal adult suffrage, a national common voters' role, regular elections, and a multi-party system of democratic government to ensure accountability, responsiveness, and openness. To me, if, if we falter there as political parties, we shall have faltered in everything that South Africa stands for. And therefore, it becomes important that as we work, we are open, we are transparent, um, we, we hold the values that South Africa is about. And it, is, it has been heartwarming to listen to political parties committing themselves to that which they should be living anyway. It should be a way of life. The commitments we're making today must and should be a way of life for political offices, for politicians, for institutions of government, for South Africans as a nation. And therefore, Dada, we thank you for the wisdom, the wisdom you are sharing with all of us. We thank you, Program Director, for the professional way you are handling us because sometimes people take things too much for granted and sometimes the dignity, the respect that organizations and gatherings of this nature should have, the stature get lost because of the lack of professionalism. And therefore, we thank you uh, for such, but also 
we would want to say to political parties, a commitment is a commitment. Here you are signing in what you will be putting in in your relationships as political parties in the process of elections. They say in a relationship what you put in is what you get out. If you invest in an election process that is free and fair, the result will be free and fair. But if what you put into the process does not signify the free, the fairness, the justification, what you will get out will be that which will not make you happy. And therefore, for you to be happy in the process, you must invest that which you would want to see as an outcome. And therefore, the notion, Katata O Mahatma Gandhi, be that change you want to see. It starts, it begins with you. It begins with you. So it begins with us as leaders gathered here this morning. If we want a free and fair election, we must conduct ourselves, all of us, in that way, and we shall reap what we have plowed. And, and therefore, in, in thanking everybody who's made this day uh, Deputy Speaker, the day that is success, as successful as it has been, the day that is dignified in itself, a day that I think all of us will live here feeling that we've, we've done a good job for South Africa. Those who contributed, the staff from MRM, uh, the planning committees, and everybody who participated, we thank you very much. We appreciate your leadership, understanding that South Africa depends on all of us to succeed. Thank you very much. Thank you, one and all. Uh, I hope.